What is up guys welcome back to the channel today we take a look at 10 apps worth a billion dollars be sure to like today's video and to subscribe also comment down below letting me know that you subscribed so that you can automatically be entered into this month's shout out giveaway coming in at number one we have Instagram 100 billion dollars Facebook acquiring Instagram was probably one of the best strategic moves they made and one of the most profitable ones as well because when Facebook bought Instagram it wasn't worth nearly as much as it is now and while Facebook is still one of the most popular social media outlets Instagram isn't far behind it at this point coming in at number two we have Waze 1.3 billion dollars Acquired by Google for $1.3 billion, Waze works with Google Maps and is perfect for long trips because Waze shows you things like detours, police checkpoints, as well as road work and a lot more. And the Israel company is actually so good that the app sparked a bid war between Google, Apple, and Facebook. However, it was Google that at the end of the day obtained the app for $1.3 billion. Coming in at number 3, we have Uber, $62 billion. Uber has become one of the most popular apps to date and is absolutely killing the rideshare market. Literally almost no one uses standard taxis anymore. Uber single-handedly changed the way we get a ride and is way more efficient than having to track down a taxi, especially for places like New York where getting a cab is nearly impossible. Now getting a ride in New York is as easy as getting on an app. Coming in at number 4 we have WhatsApp, $19 billion. WhatsApp is the first messaging app on this list and is currently the most popular worldwide with 1.5 billion active users every month. Facebook eventually obtained the app for $19 billion and this was another great investment on Facebook's part. Coming in at number 5 we have Candy Crush, $5.9 billion. Candy Crush was so popular that at one point in time the company King was generating $3.5 million every single day from Candy Crush alone. Seeing all this potential, Activision Blizzard decided to purchase the game from King for $5.9 billion. Coming in at number 6 we have Snapchat, $16 billion. Snapchat unlike most others on this list is losing money rapidly. When Snapchat was still in all of its glory, the app was making money like it was selling hotcakes and even received offers from both Facebook and Google. Facebook offered to obtain the app for $4 billion in which Snapchat refused. And while this was probably a smart refusal, Google offered to obtain the company for $13 billion. Snapchat refused that offer as well, which I'm sure they are surely regretting right about now. Coming in at number 7 we have Angry Birds, $1 billion. The company behind Angry Birds, Rovio, was on their last leg when they made the game Angry Birds. Angry Birds was their last resort so the company poured all of its resources into the game. Luckily the game was a huge success and at one point was so big that the company made movies and came out with various toys revolved around the game. And at one point the app was worth over $2 billion because of the movies and toys and everything involved with the game. However, since the game's release and after the movies and toys hit the market, the app's value has now fell down to half of what it was and is now valued at $1 billion. Coming in at number 8 we have Viber, $900 million. In 2014, Viber was the second largest messaging app there was. With over 1 billion registered users, the company had surpassed WhatsApp in daily active users in the East, especially Russia, making the app a very attractive acquisition for Rocketon, 
who then purchased the app in 2014 for $900 million, and it has continued to grow ever since. Coming in at number 9, we have Tango, $1.7 billion. Tango is another messaging app a lot like WhatsApp and Viber, however the company received a $250 million cash infusion in their last round of funding from multi-billionaire Jack Mai. With the funding received from Jack Mai, the company is now almost valued at $2 billion and is only growing more and more. Coming in at number 10, we have Clash of Clans, $10.2 billion. If you watch YouTube videos often, then you've probably seen more than your fair share of Clash of Clans ads. But that just goes to show that they're marketing the game very well. And to say the least, it's working. Because the app earned over $2 billion in 2017 alone. The game, however, was picked up in 2016 by the Hong Kong-based company Tencent for $10.2 billion. 